Welcome to Too Old and Too Slow, and in this episode, I try to install the engine, but it's not as simple as you might think. Thank you for joining me here at uh, Too Old and Too Slow headquarters. Um, and uh, this week, you will see I get stuck in and make some real progress. Uh, the major effort is installing the engine, get the engine put into the car. Once the engine's in, I can attach the rear suspension and then that can help me build up the rear end of the car and then I can work on putting the uh, cooling system and the oil system in. So let's see how I get on this week. Time to get the clutch on. Use a clutch alignment tool. That's all centered and I can just lift the gearbox in position. The next job is to fit the battery. I've got a bracket which will hold it in position, but I want to make sure that's secure, but I need to make sure that I can take the battery out if required. So I'm using rivet nuts, which work brilliantly. This is really a job I'm doing just to avoid the hard work of lifting the engine into position.
Right, I'm going to move the car over, lift the engine up, use the blocks of wood to try and protect the chassis and try and get the car and the engine roughly in the right position in relation to each other. As you can see, I'm shuffling it backwards and forwards a little bit, but that's pretty good. What I need to do now is move the car back into the middle of the workshop and that will make it a lot easier for me to work. So I shovel it over and luckily this lift I've got, which is a motorcycle lift, is pretty light and it's easy to maneuver around the workshop. So within an hour or two, the engine is loosely in position, almost in position but it does give me the opportunity to start to fit the rear suspension. I'm making good progress. I give the brakes a little tidy up and I can install them onto the gearbox. It's a little bit of a juggle to get the discs on, but they go on relatively easily without me having to remove the engine or the gearbox again. So I've uh, got these wheels which came off the uh, car when it was a Formula 4 2000, sold them on eBay. So this is vital funds for the rebuild. So I'm going to wrap these up and send them. Um, yeah, I hope they weigh less than 10 kilos because that's how much I've paid for postage. Uh, we'll see. So this is the end of this week. Well, hardly a week, but three days. Um, I've made some good progress. So uh, let's see. Um, what I've done this week it's one step forward two sets back but we're getting there as you can see the engine's in but it's not sitting uh, very well with the um, with the bodywork so I'm gonna have to cut a hole in the bodywork for the air filter so that's a job for do, to do tomorrow uh, well, tomorrow to next week um, the water system is coming along. I just need to make some modifications, slightly pinching there. And these cars run quite hot, so I need to be uh, careful of that. I need to modify that somehow uh, to stop that pinching. Just pull the pipe over that way. Um, I've got the, that's the uh, hot system, which runs out of the engine, to the top of the radiator, the cold system comes back runs into the swirl pot which is here and then that runs into the top of the engine so i need to work with that and get that um, uh, installed the big thing is the engine's in 
uh, engines in and did our put the brakes uh, on um, building up the rear suspension slowly um, I need to go and buy some um, more brake parts um, the uh, this side's kind of in a bit more work required but it's getting there slowly slowly um, and um, yeah, finish up here. I thought um, a quick release for the steering wheel. This is an old steering wheel I had from another project I had. Quick release, so I need to get that welded on here. Um, that's a job that I'll try and get done either here or maybe Mark can do it. But the car is coming together. Um, been working on the brakes a little bit at the front to start running the brake lines back. Uh, I need to go and buy some parts. So, not a bad week. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe uh, and give me a thumbs up. These small little things help the algorithm, helps the channel grow. I'm uh, recording this very, very close to 5,000 subscribers. And that's a huge achievement from uh, this little humble start of me working in a garage, uh, working on old racing cars. So a huge thank you to everybody who's subscribed. Please uh, keep an eye out for the next video, which will be coming out hopefully within a week or maybe two weeks. I'll try and drop the videos on Friday. Look here for the button to subscribe and for the uh, link to all the videos in this series. So from me, uh, on the south coast of the UK, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you next time.